All right, so Thursday's video, the one that I'm about to release, just don't worry about it. Time travel on YouTube is tough. Y'all be watching this one Friday, or should be, sometime this weekend, Friday, I don't know, maybe. We'll see. I'm still sitting over here waiting to finish loading this last bit of wood out. I got my loader turned off. You see, I still got quite a bit here. All right, you see Derek right there. There's Derek. And then Kevin is right there. You see Chad. See Chad? Chad's going in. Kevin's, you can see Kevin's boom over the trees right there. All right. This is all done. Everything is brushed back this way. You see all that brush on that skid trail? Everything's been brushed and water barred. Everything's completely done back this way. So we're working, we're working here, going all the way this way to the county road. And when Derek got to the county road then, then he went that way toward that other access road that comes in and started cutting up there. You can see the green tops. Those are all still drags laying there that needs to be picked up and taken to Kevin at the processor. So Derek started up there and he's worked his way all the way down to right there where he is now. That's his cut line right there. So what Derek does is he's going up, he's, he's making a, a path, cutting up the hill, you know, about 25 foot to the left of him, about 25 foot to the right. So he's cutting about a, you know, close to a 50 foot path up the hill. When he gets up to the top of the hill, then he moves over and then he comes back down the hill cutting a 50 foot path. And when he gets to the bottom of the hill down there in the holler, he moves over, gets centered up, and goes back up the hill. It's just like reading a book where you start at the top of the page and you, you just go, you just read sentence by sentence by sentence till you get down to the bottom. Or typewriter, it's the same difference. With the track cutter, you can't be jumping around. You basically have to start somewhere and cut. And a good cutter operator, I, I can tell a good cutter operator within just a minute or two, if the guy cuts like that, if he cuts and starts and works his way across, throwing pulls, that's a good cutter operator, good buncher operator. For y'all in Louisiana, a good shear operator. If you walk up on a job and you see a cat running a buncher, a cutter, or a shear, and he's he's over here, and then he's over here somewhere, and then he's back over there, he's not a good he's not a good operator unless he's looking for a specific type of tree. Now, right now, the way the quotas are, now that could possibly happen when you're looking for like I need hardwood or I need logs, or and you may have to jump around like that, but. It's usually never a good idea to start jumping all over the place, man. We've had guys that, that have done that, that just cut here and cut there. Especially if a skitter starts getting close to them, starts chasing them a little bit, you know, they start going all over the place and, and all. So, I don't know, Derek just let those two trees, you see those two right there. See, he's throwing them down the hill. See, all those are laying down the hill. I may, it may be on the camera there what he did, but see those two are laying up the hill. So Chad will be fussing about those two trees here in a minute. Derek probably let them get away from him. He'll probably fix them. If it was me, I wouldn't fix them. I'd just let Chad deal with them. I'd let, like to hear him fuss a little bit every now and then. You know what I mean? So this is just kind of a logging 101, man. 101 starting to cut starting to cut and making your cut start out right is one of the toughest things to learn how to do or seeing how you need to start it especially on a track cutter that thing is just it's a different animal see he's fixing to grab those trees he let see he's gone all right well all right what he's gonna do is he's gonna shoot them things on up the hill and get them spun around for Chad. That's the cool thing about the track cutter. You can reach down and grab those trees and you can do whatever, even after they're on the ground like that, you can do whatever you want to do with them. Very cool. 
And here in a little bit, I'll be way over there too. After a while. Look at that. See you pick it. Oh yeah, I didn't have it zoomed in close enough. Y'all might be able to see it on a larger screen, what he just did right there. I don't know. Maybe I'll be back. Maybe I don't. If not, I'll go ahead and give y'all the uh, later taters. All right, it's uh, 1054 right now, and I'm gonna show y'all the progress that we've done today. See, so they've got that area cleaned up, just grabbing that last drag right there, right now, he's on the 748. And you see where the top start picking up of the trees laying on the ground there. Derek, earlier in the video when Derek was cutting, he was right in there. That's where he's cutting at. So you can see Kevin over there now. See that pile of wood Kevin's got already piled, and I still hadn't made it over to him yet. Those are all logs right there on that side, and he's got another pile on the other side of him that you can't see that's this going to be chipping us all hardwood and stuff like that. But you can see the drags laying there on the face of that hill. All right there. And then see right there is where Derek is. I'll stand up in this cab when you see. See, that's his cut line right there now. He's working down there. Coming up that line right there. Back out to Kevin there. So Derek's just sitting there just, just mowing it down. What he's doing. Just cutting, just cutting them and cutting them and piling them for the skitters to get them. The guy y'all just heard on the radio key of, he don't work for us or anything, but he's up here in this area. They stay on the same channel we stay on. And man, he talks. Oh, I can't. I hate when we're up. That's, that's him right there. I hate when we're working up here, man, because he just, he's on the radio all day long and just won't shut up. They just pawed out. I'll turn my squelch on up somewhere. I've got that pretty high already, but I talk to y'all. I don't like talking on the radio that much. I mean, I talk to the drivers and everything, but I think he just talks just to hear himself talk, I think. I think he's got one of them big radios. Y'all truck drivers out there know what I'm talking about. So. Uh, I'm gonna throw y'all a uh, another later tater in here. Later taters. Alright, you see I got all the logs loaded up. Just got a little bit of pine pot wood tops and then hardwood right here with a little, few pieces of chip and saw in it. And the hardwood right there. We can't haul none of that. So now I'm fixing the track and I'm heading I'm heading all the way over here where Kevin is. Let's see, where is he at? No, there, there. Let's see. There it is, okay. I can't see with my glasses on on the viewfinder. There it is. I'm going to that pile right there. It's going to take me, it's going to take me a little while. It's a long way for me to track, man. Is this, That's right. Is this hunk of junk going to make it over and back, man? Well, well the crack put, wagon. Okay, okay. All right. You, you have this a, is my hunk you of have junk. a big chick in here with you. you got her got, feet got up rough, there and got rough in here or what? Well, man? let me tell you something about this hunk of junk. Okay, it's paid for. I understand I, that. I've been in this hunk of junk now for uh, what a year? A little over a year. Maybe a year now, ain't it? About and a year. I have a over yet year. have yet to spend time. In a shop somewhere for look at this JVC right here, y'all. Look at that, that right there. You got some subs back there somewhere. Man, I don't, I don't even, see no I, subs. What well, happened? I tore my antenna off, and I, the radio don't even work. It don't no even work. work. Okay. I went through the bushes there. Yeah. Old vine got a hold of it. I got a question for you. What we got? How sexy am I, Chad? Really? Just tell, well, just tell everybody how freaking sexy I, mean, I am. Y'all look, see Chad trying to be like me. Well, see that little, see Chad, that little peach bug you got Chad up there? Grow, see, he's, Chad's not mad We gotta to get some. Well, but, say, what the heck are you doing, fool? We ain't I going through the woods. I don't want to run up Okay. 
Kevin don't drive that thing every day. He probably get no, and right that thing don't turn like anything. Yeah, he look at him. Right the gate post. He gonna hit the gate post. <laughs> So I yeah, Chad can't ain't, ain't, can't grow facial hair like well I can here. I, so I, all right, I got another question. I don't for want you. to look like Grizzly Adam. Yeah, I'm I know. The mountain, you know. I know. You got another question for you. Don't hit uh, Jeff there. He ain't going fast enough. All right. So when we going fishing, where I can kick the crap out of your Man, arse? You, 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 I'm gonna kick the crack, slap you, out of your you, arse fishing now. When you, we going? You still trying to? You two chicken to, to go? Some, I ain't chicken now. Yeah, he's chicken. He's chicken, y'all. Hey, I had to get somebody to come all the way from car. He stopped. Oh, he's doing something. I had to get somebody all the way from Carbon Hill to come over here. As you hear, take me had fishing. to get somebody to take yeah. me fishing. Now, right. for a man that's gonna kick my butt. He he getting somebody because to you won't go. What is he doing, Jeff? What do you do? Oh, you're trying to get a heart stump. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna teach to... him how to take the scooter and dig that, that thing up, <laughs> rather out there getting a hernia trying to pull that thing up. What do you think? I'm gonna bring a sweat pulling on that one. You, agree. you know I wouldn't do that. That actually don't look too bad out across through there. Not for 12 inches of rain. Yeah. Mm.